Okay, now we're going to talk about how to traverse all the nodes in a tree in a systematic way. So there are three systematic ways to visit all the nodes and we're just going to consider binary trees. Uh, the first one is called pre-order and in pre-order you visit the root and then you recurse and do the same thing to the left subtree and the right subtree that are attached to the root. In in order you do you evaluate, uh, you visit the left subtree recursively using uh, in order, then you visit the root, and then you visit the right subtree. In post order, you visit the left subtree, then the right subtree, and then finally the root last. So these actually correspond to what we see when we talk about expressions. So if you remember the math expressions that we've already covered, we have prefix, infix, and postfix expressions. And the pre, in, and post refer to where the operator is relative to the two operands. So here's an expression tree that we just covered, expression trees. So you can see when you put an expression into a tree, we're going to see there's a relationship between these three terms and the three terms pre, in, and post order and this shows you that relationship. Um, so if you've already memorized the pre, uh, uh, prefix, infix, and postfix, and you remember this simple expression tree, you'll have the order that you visit nodes in a tree. So here's a prefix expression in math. So you have the plus followed by the two operands. When you're in a tree, what you do is you visit uh, the plus first, which is the root, and then you visit the one and the two. So this shows you the order you visit. Now infix is where you have the operator in the middle between the two operands. This is what we normally do in a math class. So that's called an infix expression. In this you visit the one, so the left subnode, and then you go up and visit the root, and then you go down and visit the right subnode. And finally, the postfix expression, which is called post order for a tree, you have the left and right operand, and then you have the operator. So in the tree, you visit the left uh, number, and then the right number, and then you go up for the operator. Now this, when we actually traverse trees, uh, these are the order we do things, but uh, let's take this for example. Uh, normally you, ha you might have a subtree here instead of a single node. So you, that just means you start with the subtree and you apply this. And if, if you apply it to the left child of that and it's another subtree, you have to apply it again to the left node of that. So eventually you get down to a tree that uh, has leaves. And when you have the leaves, then this is the order you go in. And this applies for each of these. The red o arrow will show you the order that you go in, so you can see the natural travel through the nodes. So when we apply it to a bigger tree, as we said, uh, each side of the root node may be a subtree, and it has to be traversed the same way that we're talking about. And then if it has subtrees, you go down into subtrees and you traverse that way. So this is a recursive definition. Uh, we're going to show you the code for it in a minute. Uh, keep in mind that what we're, when we're doing something with each node as we traverse, the code that they show you in this uh, chapter to, to, to just traverse just prints out the key of the node. So you would see the keys listed in the order that you're traversing. But there are many t things you can do besides just print the key. Uh, we'll examine a couple of them uh, in this uh, area. So you might be searching. So you might want to traverse all the nodes to look for a matching key. You might be traversing all the nodes to sum something up about them. Uh, or you might be doing something else. Uh, so there's different things you're going to do as you traverse the nodes. So realize that the algorithm we're giving you, the code we're about to give you, just prints them. We are going to show you two others, one that evaluates an expression tree and one that uh, builds a string of the original expression. So next we're going to, we have, already have a definition of a tree, the binary tree. And so if you make a binary tree, you can use this function to traverse uh, by writing it outside of the definition of the tree class. So you, pa you make a new tree and you pass tree. And uh, this is testing if uh, 
we were past a subtree that was uh, value none. So if this were evaluates false, we've been past uh, a pointer to a left tree that there's nothing there. So in that case, we just return, and that turns out to be our base case for the recursion. But if there's a tree of any kind, uh, then what it does is it prints the root and then calls this recursively on the left and the right subtree. So if you imagine this uh, this root here is a, a root with no children, then it's going to be passing none to both of the children, and it would come back in here and it would just return. So you can see how the base case works. But otherwise, it's going to recursively go down and, and, uh, and traverse the tree uh, correctly. Now that's pre-order. Now here's another way of writing it. We could write pre-order inside the class definition for the tree, for binary tree. So if we wrote it this way, it's going to be a method that works on the current object. So you, if you had a tree, you'd, you'd say that tree dot pre-order and it would just, it would traverse everything. And what it would do is it print first, same as up here, uh, but then it has to do a little different thing uh, it has to check the left child and see if it's uh, not empty. If it's not empty, then it's going to recurse down into it. And then it checks the right child. If it's not empty, it'll uh, recurse down into that. So this basically does the same thing up, as up here, but this has the advantage of being built into the, the class for tree. So all of these things we're going to show you can be written either outside or inside the class.